Hello everyone, it's Pinecone and Babbles here. Hi. We have a special, special guest with us today, but I'm not gonna tell you for a few minutes. <laughs> We're here uh, at um, Salt Creek Recreation Area in by Port Angeles, and right back there, you can't see it, it's the Strait of Juan, v Juan de Fuca, and I can see Canada from my house. <laughs> so um, our very special guest and my auxiliary best friend, Chase, is Sue's younger sister, Yay. Peggy. They were both born on the same day, one year apart. Peggy's, I've known Peggy as long as I've known Sue. We went to um, junior high together, high school, college. And um, I'm gonna let Sue ask her sister some questions. Hi, Peggy, how are you? Good. <laughs> Peggy's very bubbly. Ah, she yeah. has a lot of energy. And she's a farm wife. She works so hard and um, always has worked harder than me. Always. And me. She has so much drive that we don't have. Maybe that could be your trail name because you have to have a nickname, farm wife. Do you like that? Not wife. Just farm, farm girl? person. Farm person? How okay. long have you lived in Port Angeles? Since 1976. And then why did you come to Port Angeles? With McDonald's. We opened the McDonald's here. Yeah, and it's still standing. It we is drove still by standing. it today. And yes. I, yesterday, and I said, there's where Peggy worked. Yep. And you live on a farm here with your husband. Yes. It's a very rural part how of many, the Washington State. How many acres do you have? We have about 300. And... Jeez, I told Patty 100. No, yeah. no, no. It's like 298. Wow. And how many heads of cattle do you have? 45. And, and they're those cute cattle Scottish with the Scottish Highlands. Scottish Highlands. Mm -hmm. and, what, and you have sheep. We have three sheep. And you have some goats. We have two goats. And you have a pony. Yep. So How many dogs? We have three. And just the one kitty cat? Three cats. How many chickens? Fifteen. And okay, now the importance of how many children do you have? I have two. How many grandchildren do you have? I have four. I have wow. A, which I love talking about. Little Miss Corley is the oldest and she's ten will be ten in December and she's in the fourth grade and she goes to Queen of Angels, and she's in school full time. And then I have Regan, who lives in Seattle, and she is also in the fourth grade, and she is nine. And then I have little Chasey boy, um, and he is a year and a half. And little Tilly, she's also a year and a half. So crazy times. Well, you have a full plate, don't you? Yes, I do. What do you remember most about Patty and I? In high school. Driving down Bremerton looking for sailors. <laughs> <laughs> to make fun of. To make fun of, yes. Yeah, you need to and, add that. And bias liquor. It, yes, and bias liquor, um, lime vodka at Noah's parking lot. <laughs> yep. And, or Herfie's, but mostly Noah's. Yep, yep. And some kind of really sweet wine. Yes, MD2020 and Strawberry Hill. Yeah, Strawberry, Strawberry Hill. Hill. Yep, yep. Boone's Farm, Strawberry Hill. I like the Boone's Farm apple better. Yeah, I think I just remember the strawberry. And you've never regretted leaving Bremerton, have you? Uh, never, uh, ever. Yeah, us either. No, no. I'm not doing very no, good because I can't see. Oh, well, let's. No, it's okay. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you a little something about my farm because it's kind of rare. Okay. It. My husband's family homesteaded in 1892. And mm -hmm. Corley and Chase are the sixth generation to live on there. And oh. they were from Norway, right? They were from Norway, yes. They well, came. now that's interesting. She's yep. a Hanson now. I am a Hanson. Been for 40 Three years. Oh, yeah. We saw Hanson a... Road up there. Is that you no, guys? No, that's not us. There's a lot of Hansons up there, but we're Hanson with an E. Oh. And but yeah, so my husband is a fifth generation and uh, or fourth generation, then Liz and then Corley and Chase are the sixth generation. So to live there. Well, that's so nice. right now, um, baby Elizabeth, yes, is the primary inheritance person. Well, right? she lives on the farm she and lives she's on the, the oldest right she's the oldest and my son lives in bellingham so he doesn't have you know as much interest interest just. into it because of his life up in bellingham but liz and her husband andy they do a lot of stuff there and help and they live they live in the house that she was born in oh but, very nice uh hopefully their future is going to build building a house on on the farm so and do you miss living in bremerton no I asked. <laughs> no, I mean, did you ask that already? Yeah, I miss being closer to Seattle. Oh. Yeah, because of the shopping and yeah, there's except no for not now. Um, 
no, no. It's unfortunately, Seattle, you're a cesspool right now. So, uh, okay. Well, okay. Getting, we're getting to our time limit here of five minutes. Yeah, that's too long anyway. So okay. we'll say goodbye now. And thanks for being Peggy, our guest. I just love seeing you all the time. It's wonderful. I feel like we pick up like we were in high school again. Yep, the pigeon sisters. No. We were the bird sisters. Bird sisters. The bird sisters, the sisters. Then the pigeon sisters. Yeah. Then the bird the, sisters. whatever. Yes. Okay. Okay. Bye. Love you guys. Bye.